<coughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the FL Studio tutorial. I will be showing you how to make your own music for your games. I was requested by someone who I whom I forgot the name. But yeah, um anyway, <coughs> how I make my music is I just browse through the uh, 3x OSC a lot and pick whichever sound I like the best. Right now, I've uh, made started off doing something. Uh Something, this is just showing you, this is just showing you, what I'm going to show you is how to make what you want, uh, instead of just having to do whatever other people do, I'm just going to show you how to do it, so that way you can do whatever you want. The thing you do is, you, after you pick your perfect sound, you just really, is all you have to actually do is be patient, and then, like, just build. Just uh, eventually you'll learn and you'll do whatever well, you'll do really good. Whoops. I'm just gonna show you some examples. No, that sounded ugly. Try this. See, I'm just testing right here. All right, and how is all I'm doing is testing, as you can see, but it's turning out pretty well. Boom, we've already got something repeated. See there? That's basically all I really do. And you can change the tempo up here in 19. I just kind of test, and sometimes it takes even days to make an actual song. I'm going to make something with this, too. Now, um... What I'm going to do first is get to the bass. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find pure bass number 6 because I like that one a lot. Not up here. I'm going to lower. Right here. Let's try that. cut that out and make it on the second one now okay I'm gonna cut this too I'm gonna make it like this I'm gonna shrink these by two so that way I can make it sound like this. Now, uh, we, since we have kick here, I'm going to go to this one, make four steps. Then, after it does the second time around, we add the steps. Now let's listen to that real quick. We're going to enhance this as we're listening. Now let's listen to that all together. It might sound staticky on your speakers uh, while you're listening to it on FL Studio, but once you compile it, and once you save it, it won't sound like that. Now we're just going to add, uh, um, what else can we add? See, that's what you got to think. What else can you add? 
Uh, we can add strings. I'm gonna try this. Because this isn't gonna be a real song, so I might as well just test around. Okay. Sometimes it can be a little bit challenging, which is why you gotta work through it. Okay, listen here. That might act pretty good in that. So, I'm gonna test it. That's pretty good. Uh, I think the bass is too high volume. So what I'm gonna do is turn the volume down on the bass. Brass. I'm going to try changing that to uh, string number four real quick and let's see what that does. Brass number three is the one I chose. See? I already got a pretty cool thing going on here. I might actually turn this into a song. I don't know. I think that one's like that. And then third one down. See? Oh, uh, that's another thing what you can do too. See how this one's like the third one down and you don't want to get them wrong. You know that's the bass, so I'm going to go up here. I was trying to match this thing up with the bass, but this is also the third one down, which is good. So, we have to go here and make sure the string is uh the third one down. See how see? It was all the way down there, which which is why it didn't sound correct in the first place. All right, let's do this. Sounds a lot better. Alright, this concludes the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it.